Right, uh, I know I've already done a review of this engine. Uh, this is the Hornby um, West Country class, Torrington. Um, but I've done a little bit of modification. She no longer looks quite as you see her on the picture on the side there. So, let's get it open and see what I've done. This is difficult with one hand. I shall put the camera down. Okay. So, as you can see, it's a quite a nice paint scheme, very nice livery and all the uh, detail and so on. Uh, what I particularly like is that these parts still are visible, uh, but what I've added, stupid camera strap, what I've added is this. I've added some detail parts to make it into the Golden Arrow engine, which I think really are a massive improvement. Um, not that it was looking bad at, or in any way here, it's just it looks really good now. Um, so, nothing much done to the tender I'm afraid. Uh, I added these little uh, ladder bits. So, let's put her on. Right, here we are. You can see what I've done with it now. Uh, I've added this golden arrow uh, signal plate at the front. Uh, kind of sign thing. Oops. Biffed it a bit. Uh, these destination white, these white pieces, which I think tell you where the train is going. And, and the British and French flags, because the golden arrow was basically kind of the precursor to the Eurostar, in that it would take, this engine would take the coaches uh, that would look something like that, would take it as far as, I think, maybe Dover, then everybody, they'd shovel the coaches on a ferry, the engine would stay in England, uh, then they'd go over the channel to Calais, they'd be picked up by a French engine, which also had this uh, arrow, and it had, um, you know, golden arrow in French, which I think is flesh d'or. I'll spell that <laughs> on, the, on the thing. I'm not terribly good at pronouncing French, uh, as my GCSE result. Actually, no, I got an A at GCSE, so, no, I was okay at French. <laughs> uh, maybe oral was not my strong point. Um, but yes, so a French engine would pick it up at the other end. Um, what's nice about this is that now, when I run it, I now have an excuse to get all the very nice um, Pullman coaches off offered by Hornby at the moment, which have lighted interiors and so on. Uh, I might get those, but it's a, it's a bit of a thing for the future, really. It opens up the door for a lot more um, types of coaches. Obviously, I've got uh, lots of British stuff now that I didn't used to have. I've got uh, these GWR coaches, which don't really fit with anything I've got. I don't have any G GWR engines. I've got this. I think this is probably my best running of the British engines. All the others run fine. It's just this one is so smooth. Really do. If you, uh, if you see one of these, they're still widely available. They're fairly cheap. You can probably get one for around 70 to 80 pounds. They're really very, very nice. And if you can find uh, one of these detail kits, I'd highly recommend it. Here we are. Right. This uh, plate at the front that says Golden Arrow, I actually had to paint that. The, uh, the plate as it came in the box, from it was a, I think it was a detail kit from a Wren engine, which is a train company which had long since uh, bitten the dust, I think. Uh, but yeah, all the green around there, I had to paint on myself. So if I try and get in there real close up, you'll see how uh, I actually had to paint inside all the letters and so on, and that was a nightmare. Um, just scraping off bits of the... If it went over the edge, I could just scrape it off with a little exacto uh, detail kit blade. Um, these flags, I'm, yeah, I'm, I think they're okay. They look a bit papery and, and so on. I might actually print some better ones using, uh, I don't know, something, maybe a printer or something like that. All right, all the best. I'll, I'll attach some running videos now.